The accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant has triggered widespread debate in Japan about the country's energy future as the government reconsiders the current mix of energy resources, including nuclear power. Citizens are actively campaigning to influence energy policy. They're also looking seriously at their own energy consumption. NHK World's Chie Yamagishi has the story. Japanese are more conscious of their energy consumption since the Fukushima meltdown. On the outskirts of Tokyo, Kenji Kumagai had started measuring how much electricity each of his home appliances use. This chandelier used to consume 300 watts. Now it's only 24 watts. He has done everything he can think of to save as much electricity as possible, hoping to wean himself off dependence on nuclear-generated power. The nuclear accident displaced a lot of people from their hometowns, even in areas far from the plant. If we don't change energy sources now, we'll leave all these problems for our children and grandchildren. Saving on his own electricity consumption is not the only thing Kumagai is doing. He's also formed a study group with his friends to discuss energy issues. The group wanted to change the town's only source of electricity, that is Tokyo Electric Power Company, the operator of the Fukushima plant. The group submitted the proposal demanding the town to choose other power suppliers for public facilities. Last December, the Assembly adopted the idea requiring that the town buy electricity through competitive bidding starting next year. I want this town to start making changes where it can. The only way to make change is to start with ourselves, with what each individual can do. At the same time, another grassroots movement has emerged, seeking government policy that reflects citizens' views. The group of about 100 women gathered in Tokyo late last month to debate energy policy issues. <laughs> I'd like to choose my electric company. Different companies should handle electricity production and transmission. They wrote down what they consider the key words and ideas in setting energy policy. These are future, local self-sufficiency, the freedom to choose one's energy resources, and life. This meeting reminded me that I have to express my views publicly. Junko Edahiro is a journalist who covers environmental issues. She arranged this gathering to convey women's views to the authorities. On this day, a committee meeting was held at the Economy Ministry. Edahiro is a member of this committee that drafts the basic policy on Japan's future energy sources. Only four of the 25 members are women. Edahiro reads out the concerns and opinions of the women who attended their energy policy meeting. She poses a question to ministry officials. How do you intend to hold a dialogue with the public? After the disaster, more people believe they should think about energy policy themselves. But the decision-making process hasn't changed. The ministries and industry groups set energy policy. The challenge is how to reflect the public's growing awareness and concerns into government policy. This committee will recommend the best energy mix. The government is to make an important decision by summer on whether Japan will still continue to depend on nuclear energy or the country can boldly turn towards alternative sources. Jie Yamagishi, NHK World.